Welcome back, everybody. I have my good friend and partner in crime here, Riley Westbrook. Ross, thank you so much for flying me out. Yeah. Put me up and having me on the show. Yeah, man. Be expecting a nice steak dinner this evening. Um, you really deserve to be pampered. And I'm I'm really trying to take advantage of you through this. So, but that's for later. Yeah, really just the whole team here at the Culture Couch uh, studio yeah. has been nothing short of amazing yeah. and world class, uh, to put it one way. Well, it doesn't happen by accident, and thank you for saying that. Um, I guess it not happening by accident is a perfect segue into our topic today. Oh, my gosh. Right, oh, my gosh. Well, in the spirit of that, uh, the value we're covering today on the culture couch uh, is details matter, right, baby? That's going to be right. Details matter. Um, and so we have five core values uh, and it, if this is your first time tuning into the Culture Couch, first of all, welcome. Uh, but also, we've been walking through our core values, you know, the things that make us who we are as a company, um, our train tracks. Quickly, do you think people, whenever they watch Culture Couch, imagine themselves sitting right here between the two of us? <laughs> I'd like to think so. I'd like to think our banter and overall charm would lead one to that assumption. Mm. Um, but... Comment below if you've ever pictured yourself <laughs> in between the people on Culture Couch. But anyways. What, what couch are we on today, Ross? <laughs> you know, unfortunately, we didn't land the Crate and Barrel de deal yet. But we're on an article. Are we on an article? This is an article, yeah. It's a lovely couch. It's very inviting. I always want to always wanna sit my butt down on it. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I need to pay more visits to this couch. Um, well, you got one a week. I only got least. one a week for a Culture Couch. Um but the value today, details matter. Uh, I, I'm trying to think about how we came to value this in our business. Um, I, I think probably the first thing that comes to mind, and this is probably the scarlet thread throughout all of our values, is being inspired by companies that either didn't value this and it sucked or did value this and it was super inspiring. Um, I'm wondering for you, you know, in your, your young whippersnapper days of starting Valor, can you think of any like companies where you're like, whoa, they really paid attention to the details and I want to do that too. I would say for me, it was probably more along the lines of not service industry related. Yeah. So I think about... <laughs> 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 oh yeah uh we joke about this on the podcast every now and then but when we were starting the business that was around the time i was really into like raw denim you know yes. i'm kind of just dressed perfectly for the occasion you really this isn't are. raw denim this is denim yes uh, the record show but we were also really into like red wing boots dang so, yeah check those out yep uh tight you and i both kind of got a pair of red wings around the same time mm -hmm. and it was our first big quality purchase yeah so the craftsmanship right the attention to every small thing about them mm -hmm. uh you know i could say the same thing around that time whenever i was into raw denim it was like this wasn't just a piece to get out the door yeah it was thoughtfully made and meant to last for a long time right so that that's probably one of the first places I really noticed detail. That, and then, I mean, if you just look at, like, Apple products. Yeah. And a lot of people give Apple a hard time for being behind, like, Samsung on certain things. Sure. And even Samsung's ads are targeted at, at Apple, like, oh, nice new feature. We've had this for six years. Yeah. But with Apple, it's like they don't do it until they can do it really, really well. Yep. And in a way that is probably more the, the UX is better. You know, it's it's more user friendly. Absolutely. Which is genius. Yeah, I I totally agree about all the Iron Ranger stuff and the selvage. Um it's it's the classic saying of the whole is greater than the sum of all the parts, you know, meaning the whole of something, the entire experience and perception of a product or a person or whatever is greater than all of these little details that 
make it who it is. But, you know, like when I, when I walk into our cafe and like, I, I literally make it a point to like straighten all the chairs in the cafe every time I come in. Mm. And that is just the smallest detail. And it doesn't make our coffee taste better. And it doesn't like, it's a very intangible improvement. Heck, a lot of guests probably wouldn't even notice it. Right. There's so many things like that in our cafe where a, a customer will never notice it. They'll never say, oh, I'm so glad the chairs were straight. Dude, I remember when you used to work at Chrome Yellow, since we're talking about Chrome Yellow today. Um, the raw denim? The raw denim. Well, so I remember they had that little retail section, mm-hmm. and all of the hangers on the clothing rack were equally spaced. Oh, yeah. And that was part of your job was to like evenly space all the hangers, right? Mm-hmm. And it probably took a took a little while to do that, but that detail it matters. And the ultimately, where what we're after here is what is it saying about the brand? What what is this? What is this detail saying about what this brand is? Um, and you know, when you see a place and all the hangers are perfectly, you know, spaced. That tells me so much about what that brand is. That tells me that the employees really, really care about what they're doing. It tells me that the piece of clothing sitting on this hanger is really quality. And it tells me that like your bathroom is probably going to be clean too. Mm. I And I trust you to make my cappuccino if you take the time to straighten the hangers. Um, and that that's something we always say in our orientation with uh, with this value is, look, if our cafe experience is perfect, but when people walk into the bathroom, it's a wreck, then, I mean, that kind of like is a little bit of a ding on the experience. Mm. Because if the assumption is like, if these people don't take the time to take care of every single detail, even if it's not a sexy detail, then the overall brand is is diminished, right? Absolutely. Uh well stated. Thank you. Uh, you must do this often. <laughs> uh, so, Ross, without naming any names, can you think of a like an experience where you have noticed specifically that the details didn't matter? Maybe you were yeah. excited to go to a place, but the details fell short. Yeah, to be honest, um, you know, we've talked a lot about the aesthetic details, and that that totally does matter. Um, but even just down to you know staying staying in the coffee world, if I'm if I'm served a drink, or actually let's let, let's throw that out. I'm at a nice restaurant, right? And I order a drink or something, and I can tell that the server spilled the drink down the side of the cup on the way to my table, and I paid fifteen dollars <laughs> for a cocktail, and that happened. That. It's a first world prob. It's it's not a huge deal, but that absolutely makes me think less of this establishment. That I don't know if that's savage or not. Well, but you know, if you're going to charge world class prices, you should give a world class experience, and that's kind of how we always look at it. If we we are in specialty coffee, right? And heck, our vision is to be the top 1% of product matched with the top 1% of service. Right. So knowing that, if we spill something down the side of a cup, we have to remedy it before it hits the end consumer. Right. Yeah, and how how I view it when I'm when I'm behind the bar and I'm working, well just the, this value, you know, it transcends just the bar. It 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 goes into our packaging. It goes into the way we speak with one another, we use details in how we speak to one another. It goes into the color of the wall. It's it's all the details. But whenever I'm behind the bar, I have a thousand little choices to make every single day of whether or not I'm going to give a crap, whether or not I'm going to choose to do this up to standard, the best of my ability, and put my name on this drink, like Valor, our name, because we're owners but also like my ross name Hmm. i want to everything i do i want it to be excellent and that starts with paying attention to all the little details um i think of some other things in our cafe um just these little 
tiny details that make it a great experience. We have first timer stickers. Mm. When someone comes in for the first time and we we learn that it's their first time, we give them this little silly sticker that probably costed us. I mean, you, you know, cost analysis stuff. How much was that? Uh, way too much, to be honest. Okay. Well, actually, it's actually pretty expensive for us, but it's probably under five dollars. <laughs> okay. I really hope so. Yeah. Uh, and that's a little detail, but it's all the details that make a memorable experience and that make a brand. Um, how about naked straws? How about naked straws? Yeah. You know, when we first started uh, selling drinks to people, we would have, and we sold a lot of ice drinks. We would have the straw with the wrapper on it. We tried like six different configurations of how to serve a drink with a straw. We took the, you know, the paper off and gave it to people. We served it, you know, with the straw laying on top of the drink. We partially tore off the paper so that when they, you know, are served the drink, they take off the hat of the the paper. All these different things. Those, like, who cares? And the answer is we do because Mm -hmm. details matter. Yeah, again, something that the guest probably didn't really notice. They probably never noticed the change. But that completely came out of us being behind the bar and paying attention to our guests and what they were doing. So even with the straw partially on the top, they would take that off and they wouldn't be around a trash can and they'd be talking to a barista. Sorry, pick crew member. Thank you. And uh, and they would you know be having a conversation and we would just notice it was like, awkward they were like holding it they might put it in their pocket right they just didn't know what to do with it again for them probably subconscious they were thinking more about the conversation than the straw wrapper but we saw that and we said you know what we should just buy straws without wrappers on them and put the put the straw in the drink for them right and it's not something they would notice but we did that completely by paying attention to our guests and what they were doing Right. And that's a good intersection of values as far as putting empathy into action, oh, yeah. which was the last value we covered on Culture Couch and Details Matter. We're putting ourselves in the shoes of our guest and making that detail matter for them. I just view it, I view it as an honor to serve people. I really do. And w- we try to hire people that think the same way. And if I'm viewing it as it's my honor and my privilege to serve these people that walk into our cafe or to package up the coffee that I'm sending out to someone that bought coffee on our website or as a wholesale partner, if I really view it as my honor and my privilege to do that, then I'm going to execute to the best of my ability and make systems that make it as easy as possible for me to execute at a high level Mm. Um, and also be able to translate that to staff. Um, I'm trying to think of like some main ways that this breaks down in, in our company of, uh, just little things passing by. I mean, there's always going to be odd circumstances that just your, your level of quality just drops. That's always going to happen. Um, I think of this and, and another big part of this, I'm kind of all over the place, but who cares? Another big part of this is, listening to feedback from your customers and making changes. For example, on our new packaging, we have this little clear circle sticker that kind of holds the box shut. And we received two different pieces of feedback that when people... It's perforated down the center. Right. And we did that as a details matter play. Right. We had to keep it shut somehow, and we wanted it to be easy to open. Yeah. But... Yeah, people were getting their orders and all the boxes were open already because the perforation on the sticker was too weak. I know it seems boring, but this is the kind of stuff that we love and think about. Um, And so we started rotating the sticker a little bit so that the perforation is stronger. And it's point is that detail matters because using empathy, we want to get in the shoes of our customers, whether that's in the cafe or on the web store and wholesale, and give them the best possible experience possible in all of these intangible ways. I'm thinking like the size of our shipping boxes. Yeah. It's perfectly to spec with the box. For one box, we have a box. For two boxes, we have a different one. So we don't have to use a lot of paper inside because people have to take out the paper and throw it away and it fills up their trash can faster. Right. 
like down to those nitty gritty details. That's what sets a normal company apart from an exceptional company. That's the biggest thing, man. Setting yourself apart. Because like I think about our tape. I almost started crying there. Um, I think about our our packaging tape. You know, it's like branded, nice. We're paying some top dollar for that stuff, mm. especially because we, we're not buying a ton of it. Um, but when somebody gets that box in the mail and it looks proper, it looks awesome, that's just going to give you that much more advantage over your competition. Yeah. Um, Our retail packaging, it's yeah. a box that was really expensive with a bag that was really expensive inside of it. Mm-hmm. We could have way better margin. We probably wouldn't sell as much of the product because it wouldn't look as beautiful. But right. It, that all goes into, you know, setting ourselves apart. Yeah. Yeah, this value just really comes down to every day showing up, choosing not to compromise, mm. um, choosing to care about the details, and everybody holding themselves accountable, holding each other accountable towards that to really be an exceptional company that's different from the rest. Um, so thanks for tuning in, Riley. Thanks for for letting us fly you out here. And Thanks for having I me, look man. look forward to, to for this, our steak dinner later, later and be expecting a, a big check in the mail for our time today. I really need it. Yeah. Okay. Love you. Love you.